Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen, and today I'm gonna share with you guys my nighttime skincare routine because, girl, my skin has been doing so good lately. Let me knock on some wood because my skin has always been an issue for me, and I feel like I finally have a good skincare routine that one is not like making me break out. My skin is responding well, so I just wanted to share with you guys what I've been using because I found some products that I am really, really loving. To give you a little bit of backstory about my skin, I have acne prone skin. I feel like I've had acne since I was 12 years old, and I've literally been battling acne since then, <laughs> and I'm in my 30s. And I thought that like by this age, I would not have to deal with acne issues, but here we are. I struggle with hormonal acne. Um, also, like I will break out if I have products that are, like my skin is really sensitive, so things be breaking me out. And like the littlest thing, like if a lotion has too much fragrance in it, if something rubs against my skin the wrong way, I'm gonna break out or turn red, one of the two. It never fails. So. Um, those are some of the like the issues I deal with. Some of the other issues that I deal with are I get oily, um, but then I also get dry in some places too. So I think that means I have a combination skin. Let me just preface all of this with I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not an expert. I just found some stuff that has worked for me. So I wanted to show you my my skincare routine. This is what I've been doing at night lately. So um, first, I'm gonna put my little my little head wrap on because. This just makes me feel like I'm at a spa. And it just gets my hair out of my face. And I can get started. <laughs> I have on makeup, I have on foundation, like I have on everything. And to remove my makeup, I do one of two things. I will either use a micellar water, which um, I have this one by Garnier. I was looking for something that was right in front of my face. So I will either use the micellar water or I will use a pre-cleanse and I'm using the one right now from Dermalogica. This is the little trial size. The big bottle is like $30, $40. I'm sorry, I just, I really struggle with spending that much on individual items. Um, so I have that and then I have a new product that I haven't tried but I've heard a lot about this, which this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I have been wanting to try this for so long and they sent this to me. I'm not going to use it today because I need to go through my tried and true routine, but this is a cleansing balm and I think this, I think this is supposed to remove makeup as well. I don't know. We're going to find out, but I have that. I'm going to, I'll let you guys know what I think. So. I will take the free cleanse and the way that you're supposed to use this is you put it on your face like dry like you don't get your face wet you just take the oil and like rub it in and it's supposed to break up your makeup like you see how that looks like my makeup is literally dissolving right before my eyes I'm very careful about how I do it around my eyes too because I have my contacts in and I'm not trying to go blind um okay so i rub that in and it's like breaking the makeup off off my face and i look like her see and then you're supposed to get your hands wet and do it some more so you get some water on your hands and then you can like rub it in even more And like you can see the makeup just melting off. Once I've removed all the like makeup off my face, I do do a second cleanse. And I'll use a face wash. My favorite one is the La Roche Posay Toleran. Toleran. Girl, I'm probably saying that wrong. This is a purifying foaming cleanser. Um, this is so like I have repurchased this cleanser. This is probably like my third or fourth time repurchasing it. I love this cleanser because it doesn't break me out. It's very gentle. It doesn't make me turn red. I will use this to wash my face. And this one is for normal to oily skin. I believe they do have one for normal to dry skin as well. 
but this brand is soap free sulfate free fragrance free i have to have a fragrance free cleanser it if it's not fragrance free it's gonna break me out i already know and what i've learned with um using cleansers and i used to not do this in the past and i think this has helped my um, acne as well i used to just like put it on my face and then wipe wipe it right off and i've learned that you're supposed to like massage it into your skin for at least like a minute you know because <laughs> if you just wipe it right off you're not giving it a chance to even work so to me it's not like super foamy but like just enough and i like to rub in circles i think that's what you're supposed to do so then i'll be watching skincare tiktoks tiktoks and i'm like let me follow the dermatologist <laughs> because they know what they're talking about i just wipe it off like really gently i've also learned to like be really gentle as i'm applying products or anything like that because if I do too much redness <laughs> redness comes out so once I've cleansed I like to go in with the toner next I use one of two I have the Thayer's witch hazel toner but then I've also been recently loving the one by good molecules this is the niacinamide brightening toner I kind of alternate between them so like what I have been doing is using the Thayer's one at night and then I'll use the Good Molecules one in the morning. Wipe it all over my face. We're looking cute, <laughs> bare face. So another product that I really, really love is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This has salicylic acid in it. This is supposed to unclog your pores, shrink your pores, and smooth and even your skin tone. A lot of people don't like this, I've learned. I love it, but I think the key to this product is not using it every single day. I only use this a couple times a week. Um, I don't know what ingredient in here that makes people not like it, but my skin has reacted really well to it. So I just pour it in my hand like this, and then I pat it into my face. And I only do this, this one like two, to three times a week. I don't do it every night. I think doing it every night would be overkill to be honest. Um, but I've noticed a big difference like in the appearance of my pores with this. Girl, the next thing that I like to go in with is the discoloration correcting serum from Good Molecules. I love this product. I am so glad I tried it out. This, this is my second bottle. The first bottle, I have noticed difference within like the first couple weeks. This really is helping to lighten my dark spots. I do have hyperpigmentation along my jawline right here because that's where I broke out really, really bad. Hormonal acne, and I am a picker. I'm, that's a habit that I'm trying to break because I had a, um, a breakout like right here and I picked at it and now I have a scar. So I only use this in the evening. Um, you, you need to put it on and then like let it dry all the way. But like it comes in a cute little dropper like this. Oh, I just use it all over. Cause I need, I need it all gone. Especially this area, cause that's where most of my dark spots are. So my goals for my skin right now, I have learned what makes me break out, what causes breakouts. So I know how to pretty much avoid that. So I'm. I do want to prevent breakouts, but my goals are to improve the texture of my skin, that's one of my goals, and then also to lighten the dark spots and hyperpigmentation. That is my goal because like when I put makeup on, like my skin looks really smooth when I have on makeup, but when I take it off, you can still see dark marks, especially on the sides of my face. So that is what my skincare goals are right now and to stop picking at breakouts when I do get them. The next thing I'll go in with, if I do have any active breakouts, is the Kiehl's um, Truly Targeted Acne Clearing Solution. So this is like an acne treatment and this is basically a pimple patch, like a liquid pimple patch. And it's really runny, but it dries kind of sticky. And so if I were to have like a breakout, 
like I kind of have one um, like right here and right there so what I like to do is just put a little bit on my fingertip and then I will rub it on that spot and just like let it dry and it kind of dries tacky but um, when you wake up in the morning I you will notice that the acne spot has improved okay now eye cream so with eye creams I now that I'm in my like now that I'm teetering up to the edge of my mid-30s, I feel like anti-aging is something that is really important to me right now. And I want to start doing those preventative measures. So I'm starting to do eye creams and gels and stuff like that. The two that I use the most are um, this one from Good Molecules and then I have one from Kiehl's. This one is a eye gel. It's the Wake Up Eye Gel. I like to use this one in the morning. Um, it reduces signs of puffiness and like plumps the fine line. So I like to use this one when I first wake up in the morning. And then at nighttime, I've been using the one by Kiehl's. This is a super multi-corrective eye zone treatment. And it's a little bit thicker and a little bit heavier. So I feel like it's okay for nighttime. It works better for me. And I just like put it under my eyes like this. Y'all know how to do this part. Because that's what they say. Use it with your ring finger because that part of your... I guess the skin on your finger right there is really gentle, girl, I don't know. And I have been staying on top of these eye creams because I'm not trying to have wrinkles before before it's time. Like I know I'm gonna age, but I'll worry about wrinkles when I'm in my 50s. I'm not trying to worry about them in my 30s. The last step is adding moisture moisturizer. The Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. When I tell you, this is expensive, okay? It's like $35, I think. That's expensive to me for a mask. But when I tell you, this works it's so good. I'm almost out. Like, there's hardly anything in there. Um, but this is what it looks like. When I go to sleep, my skin wakes up so just, like, juicy and plump and moisturized and, like, just bright and shiny. I don't know what it is they put in here, but I'm a fan. So I just rub this in in a thin layer all over, and you will look like, you know, a glazed donut, of course. But I think, you know, that's what we want for our skincare at nighttime, um, because I like to wake up with my skin looking moisturized and bright. Girl, I almost forgot the last two steps. So I do a lip mask um, when I go to sleep. This one is by Babe Original. Okay. This one is by Babe Original. It's um, This one is unscented, but I like to put this on my lips before I go to sleep, and then my lips wake up super soft. I'll put that on. The last step in my little skincare routine is my brow serum. So I don't know if you can tell, but my brows are not the most thick and luscious and fluffy. And I feel like I had a bald spot, a bald spot in one of my lashes for the longest time. This brow serum is helping my brows grow in. And it might not look much to y'all right now, but like they have improved so much. So I put this brow serum on. Um, a few nights a week and it just helps my brows look thicker and fuller because they to me right now this looks thick and full um, to you guys it might not be but you should have seen how they look before like I was looking like Whoopi Goldberg I love the feeling of doing my nighttime skincare routine I have become faithful at doing this even if I've gone out that night I have to do my skincare routine before I get in the bed and we're not skipping any steps so this has really been this has really been working for me. I do have some new products here on my shelf that I want to try out and try to like work into my routine. But these are my staples and they are working for me. But I don't want to like switch it up too too much. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.